Well, I, I would like to make a few closing remarks, and uh, oh. pro Jack probably does too, but uh, I'll go first if you want, or a second. Uh, my, my only closing remark is, member FDIC. <laughs> and mine is some assembly required. Um, no, I want, I've had a little, little bit of fun at Wally's expense, and this is the first time I have appeared in public since he passed away. And I don't, obviously in the past when I would talk about him, whether he was there or not, there was always a chance he would hear about it, and I was aware that uh, Wally could be a little prickly at times, and I kind of watched what I said. But now that he's gone, I don't think I would say anything different. The first show I ever did was Wally, because he, was, he met my agent somewhere, and she was a young, uh, struggling agent with a bunch of young, struggling actors. And uh, he, he kind of took a shine to her, and he said, anytime you want to send your people in, uh, I'll be happy to read them. And that's how I got my first job. And arguably, a huge slice of my career was with Wally. Some people had problems with some of his directing style, but I always said Wally would be entitled to say one thing, at least, if not many more, and that would be, listen, Ross, there's only really one or two shows where people are flying you all over the world and they want your autograph and they tell you what a great guy you are and it just so happens I voice directed both of those shows <laughs> and maybe that's not a coincidence and maybe I actually knew what the hell I was doing and I would have to say you're absolutely right Mr. Burr you're absolutely right so to the late great Wally Burr 